It is now time for me to have a conversation with Chris and the wife Faith. Hey, looking good, eh? Nakamoto moto kabisa. Come up us. Come moto come up us. There's a lot of smiling that happens at home, eh? Yeah. Yes, yes, okay, yes. okay. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. So there are some things in front of you. Eh? There are love-shaped stones eh? in front of you. So I'll ask you, Chris, to just take one of those. Uh, this one that has a particular name written on it. Mm -hmm. Put it on this particular bowl. Okay. Uh -huh. And I'll ask you, Faith, to do the same. Okay. What's written on those stones, those love-shaped stones? Spouse. 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 Yeah. So spouse. So this is your marriage. This is you, Chris, as a husband, yeah. and you, Faith, as a wife. Yeah. But guess what? You both came from a family here and there. So this, is, this represents now your family members, your parents and then your parents. Yes. So it doesn't mean that that tie is gone. It's still there. You don't disconnect. You still maintain that connection because this, this is supposed to represent the connection that you have with your, fam with your family. So it's still there. Now, for Faith, do not lose that connection. Yes. Don't lose that connection. You say that you love your mother and even say hi to her. Eh? <laughs> you don't lose that connection because it's very important to remember where you come from. Yeah. But also you need to remember that now you start in your own family. So there has to be some guidelines and some space. This is now your home. You left your father and mother and the two of you have become what? One. one. So now you're one. So focus on being one. The number one voice that should matter the most is this one over here, yes. one. So that whether you make mistakes or things go well, it's between the both of you, it's your decision. So his voice should carry the day the most. It's good to receive advice from mom. Advice, not approval. Yes. Advice from mom, not approval. But also the approach is very important, you know. Yeah. Uh, so that now you say, you tell her when something is wrong, tell her when something is bad, tell her when she's walking to a fire, when it's a bad decision, yeah. but also you come from a point of love. You don't come from a point of, where in Imbaya, like, hey, that one you'll do even more damage. Eh? <laughs> yeah, you'll do more damage. So, which, yeah, which is your fear? So it's the approach is key. The approach is key. So she wants the truth, but also the approach has to come from a point of love. Even when you're communicating, when you're saying something about it, you're like, you know what? You can use the word honey. Honey, eh, no, nah, that's a bad choice. Honey, yeah. that's not good. Honey, I don't think that is right. Yeah. She wants that. Give her the hard truth. Remember, as I said, this is your mind. It's for you to make that decision. Oh, yeah. Good or bad. So if you two decide to have a baby, one of the concerns, of course, all, always for women is that if I have a baby, my life is going to slow down. Yeah. You know, I've got my career, I've got my education. So as if you two decide to have a child, then assure her that, honey, you still have my support when it comes to your career. If it's studying, you will still go and finish, in, finish studies. If it's whatnot, you still help her. Because that's a fear. Sometimes women don't voice that fear, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, but that's a fear of many, many women. And yeah. you know what? I like to speak also to the husbands out there. You know, Even as you are allowing your wife to make babies for the both of you, remember that she has a career. She has her own dreams and her own goals. Support her. Supporter, because this is the fear and the concern for so many women and also for so many parents. As for you, Chris, yes. you came from a certain family. In that family, there were expectations and things that were in that particular family where you are, you came home and food was ready eh, as you wanted it to. Yes. And here you're coming, you're having a wife who's telling you, What do you want to eat today? <laughs> Is disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> so, Faith, how does it feel when you're like, he's telling you, I came from a home whereby I come home, food is ready, I don't care yeah. which food it is. Somebody thought about that for me. How does that make you feel? It's, it makes me feel, me asking that, yeah. always my main, main reason for asking is to always get his opinion yeah. on what he wants to eat today. Yes. You know, the way you can wake up and say, hey, no, na mm. Yeah, so that is it. I just want him to take part or to be involved in the food part too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's, 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 it's not easy it's for not easy. women, yeah. mm. like deciding what to cook every now and then, yeah. every supper. Mm. So. And maybe, uh, Chris, you mentioned something that you also want. You don't want it to be a lecture. You want her to participate. The same way she wants you to participate in, you know, mm. what happens, what you to eat. Mm. You want her to participate in conversations. Mm. Maybe let her know about that. Tell her. 
one thing I usually want to honey is that uh, when we are having a conversation, both of us get to contribute almost to an equal uh, 50-50 basis if that, that is possible. Mm. Not that I am the only one who is uh, talking most of the time mm. or sharing most of the things and then maybe you get to nod or just say, uh, give me prompts <laughs> to keep, go <laughs> keep going and saying that yes. you are listening. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so if you can always um, chime in, uh, even if it is not a topic uh, that you want to, uh, <laughs> you want to discuss, mm -hmm. maybe you can uh, respectfully re remove uh, the conversation in that direction and then take it where you want. Yeah. And I hope I can also gladly contribute to whichever direction you'll take it. Yeah. Okay. So participation. Remember, you two are one. This is your marriage, your home. Yeah. How you two choose to, to make it happen is how it's actually going to be. It's how it's actually going to be. I'd also like to tell you, like, don't box yourself with these labels. Introvert, extrovert. They can easily box you. Look at yourselves as individuals in love. Yes. You're just friends who are together living in the same home. And so, so you don't box yourself because sometimes you can box yourself. You want to talk, but then remember, oh, I'm an introvert. Introverts <laughs> don't speak. No, 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 no. Yeah. You're a wife. Mm. Talk. Talk. Have these conversations. Don't be boxed by labels. Keep the bond between you and your mother. But also remember you're married now. You're married now. Sometimes even tell your mother, mom, I love you, mm. though my mm. husband and I, we've decided this and this and this. And some things mama doesn't need to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has her, fam her family, her marriage, now you have yours. Yes. So build yours. It's honoring her, but also remembering that you have a marriage and a family to protect. So remember, people, marriage is a beautiful union. Sometimes it has its ups and downs, but if you two work together, you will make it together. Don't label yourself. Get to enjoy love. Get to talk. Maintain a good relationship with your parents, but also remember that it is between you two. Whether things fail or not, it's between you two. You're in this journey together as one. Thank you so much for watching Decoded. If you'd like to be uh, a couple that actually comes to appear on the show, whether you're dating or married, feel free to reach us on double two triple nine or reach us through our social media handles, all of the social media handles. And if you also have a question for me, you can write to me in the same particular channels or double two triple nine or the social media handles. Thank you so much for watching Decoded. This issue has been decoded.